Cooney placing this one. Broadbent, nowhere to go. Cassisi up and down the ground and in everything to Brogan. And Kane Corns in his 200th, his first disposal of the ball. Not one he'll remember fondly. Boyd for the Bulldogs from inside 50. And he kicks a very good goal. Ruthless finish by the Dogs. And they'll be really the global wristband on to try and counter that. Nice long ball, Nash to Davenport, who's been something of a goal kicker when he's played for Port this year. Finds Banner as they go uh, via oh. the cable. Oh, massive launch by Schultz. Tremendous mark, and he's within range, and that deserves the maximum result. How good a hanger was that from Jay Schultz? Take a look at this again. Great sit. That is a dream sit. <laughs> Matthew Lloyd, uh, very proficient in that part of the game. Couldn't have been set up any better for him, but you still got to take him, Lloyd. You do, and he has been a revelation. They really missed him last week. Josh Carr was a late inclusion for him, but uh, he's kicked 17 goals, but his last few weeks has been his best. Kicked seven goals against the Roos not long ago. Now, can he kick it? He's taken the, the long run up, gets some momentum, and kicks well. Gets the result of deserved. Port had their first. And he has space. Leads to Williams. And he sees and delivers beautifully to John Syracuse. Right now, kick. with the sit, Everett takes it well and has the open goal in front of him for the Bulldogs' second. It was well done. Chaplin bringing it down to Pierce after Grant got his hands on it, couldn't hold the mark. And now Port can counter-attack. They can, but they've got Brian Lake sitting back in the hole. They need to use it well like that kick was. It was a well-weighted ball. Banner under the pump. But he gets a result as it falls on yeah, He's a good player, Westhoff, but hasn't kicked a goal for a month, so this would do a lot for his confidence. If he can't kick this, you'd imagine he's not going to kick one for quite a few months. He puts yeah. it right through the middle. Port, stay close. They have their second. I like it. I think it's uh, a great uh, move for them in terms of setting up play and defence. You'd love to have him at both ends of the ground, but I think he should maybe spend some more time at halfback. cassisi has been good. Horns giving it off to Hitchcock. Good placement. Schultz had to extend himself. Ebert's running goalward. Chooses the short set of Tim. So great start for him and also Port Adelaide. So a chance for Ebert to put his team in front. And he should kick these. Just a little bit of hook, but it holds up. He kicks the goal and Port hit the front. Schultz has had uh, four marks and six disposals, so he does need to tighten up. So Port, having put its nose in front with a scoring opportunity here, and that was high contact. Kane Corns to take it. Callum Ward uh, crashing through there. He really had eyes for the ball. And I think Kane Corns was just got in his way. But you can't uh, take a player high. Had to be a free kick. Not a big goal kicker, Kane Corns. Just two for the season. And 78 in his 199 and a bit games. Big moment for him here. To give Port a bit of a break in this first quarter. And they're doing more of the attacking. He does it well. Port lead by nine points. footing through the middle of the ground. You're going to turn it over more. So getting it in there long and getting back to that sort of simple footy has to be the way to go here in Darwin. Dogs have got numbers back here. Salter bombs not into their midst. Out in front of Schultz. He's, he's done well. in the comp. I don't think he's going to be able to do that because of these slippery, humid conditions. So uh, could work in Schultz's favour and the crummers of Port. He has a go at them. His kicking is a strength. It's a beauty. And Port lead by 15 points. Lake's taken a while to get back, so they've got time to set themselves up defensively. Harbrow. Bulldogs not finding a way in, and uh, the transition from a horse. Free kick to the dogs. Right down uh, about 30 metres out from goal. You can hear the umpire saying, you, hold, you had a hold on. 
when the lead was so about just to be... 36 percent from set shots jared grant so it's a big one the dogs desperately need it well i haven't kicked one since the opening 10 minutes or so of the match grant puts that right lovely kick the dogs get their third Good thing it was their free kick because Eagleton gave it to the wrong man and that would have been 50 had it, uh, the situation's been reversed. His cross bravely with the flight and fisting it on. But again, Port have it covered. Nash over it. Brogan getting in hard. Now John Syracuse just couldn't get the swing on it. Oh, he did oh, get enough oh. of it. Oh, and that's a heavy collision. Paul Stewart hitting the post. The ball's gone through. It's a goal to the dogs. A clever kick from John Syracuse. How about Paul Stewart's effort? First of all, this effort was just enormous from Cross. He has got no regard for his own safety at all. And an equally brave one by Paul Stewart. Have a look at this. Didn't think he was going to get the right bend uh, on this one, John Syracuse, but it gets up in the air, gets up in the air. Look at Stewart go back here. And he's just about KO'd himself on the padding. And it looks like reasonably thin padding here. Got his arm up, luckily, because that would hurt. And now the big test starts. Great courage, as you said, in both occasions. Well, I think it was trying to sneak through, but uh, now tries to sneak away on the inside. John Syracuse up. Everett down. Ward. That's a free kick to the Bulldog man for the late tackle. For on first look, Dusk, I wasn't sure. I can see where Chaplin was disappointed. Yeah, I, I can't understand that. That's not a free kick. The umpire is saying it's rough play. Well, I'm sorry, it's a rough game. And we know there's a sling action that's dangerous, and we know that they're going to try and protect that. But she, it's a strong tackle. Yeah. Don't think, it, don't think we've got to deter that sort of tackling from the game. But he's landed on his back, Tim. I think when you're going and it's anywhere near the neck, I reckon you, it's definitely a free kick, but I didn't think that one was there either. So you could still be hurt going down that way, I reckon. Ward kicks the goal. He puts the dogs in front. the judgment is that the onus is on the tackler to know whether he can see it or not Boyd John Syracuse the Bulldogs have kicked three unanswered in this quarter they're back in front Higgins Williams and that's a good kick Brad Johnson leading targets and Johnson will always present so the Bulldogs developing a, a minor role here if he kicks this it becomes a bit more than that they are on something of a roll. They've kicked four on the trot. Been very quiet so far. The Port Adelaide goal sneak. Umpire Nichols, another lovely high bounce. Uh, always a free kick there from Nathan Eagleton. And it's just not awareness, is it, really, in that situation? You've got to have an understanding. It's funny, we've set up here in some really good conditions tonight. You see Matthew Boyd, how hot it is out there, but Nathan Eagleton just uh, lining up for a second and to put port back within a kick getting close to half time he does everything well he makes no mistake port's still well in this 15 years be able to beat opponents on the lead he's so good in the contest but he's also quick enough and he's got good hands so a good sign for brad johnson came off with an ankle injury against Hawthorne on Friday night a couple of weeks ago and just laps there in concentration thinking Johnson would take the shot. So Griffin to extend the advantage for the Bulldogs early in the third quarter and he does it very neatly. Dogs by 10. Low scoring game you wouldn't want to get out to a three goal lead the power have got to try and kick this next goal to keep the pressure on the dogs. Gilby, an aggressive kick, well taken by Cross. And that's a good kick too, and this is a good move. Eagleton had Johnson if he wanted him. He goes for broke, and he kicks the goal. He finished it beautifully. He needed to. <laughs> Completed the mark on the wrong side. Frustration for Port. Eagleton, Higgins. Two men running with him. Boyd and Cooney are their names. Now Cooney sees Murphy streaming, or rather uh, Grant streaming down the ground, collects Cooley and runs it home. Produce 
a sparkling opening quarter. Hey, but the Bulldogs fired up since. Good play by Ward. He waited down. Two port players flew. Good effort by Ward. And now Cooney's on the break. Could have cut the distance there. Doesn't matter. He's kicked another one. They're starting to carve Porter. Tom Williams doesn't really want to kick because it's a weakness for him. So what you do, you peel off and you say, we'll let you have space. And Tom Williams uh, nearly turned it over. Lindsay Gilby, on the other hand, you press him and make sure he has to handle. Boy, they played that really well. Here's a chance for Port. Davenport, that sometime goal sneak, and he wobbles at home and gives Port some hope. There's a little bit of resistance uh, for you, Lloydie, for Port Adelaide. They've, they haven't certainly given up. You're right about their run. That's what uh, worries you when they get into a pattern where you don't see a lot of run. This is a good good effort. Hamble came out there from Gilby, just fell under the arms of Davenport. Did pretty well to jam it on the boot. Pickin thought he had a hand on it. But again, we're back to a stage. 22 points, Port Adelaide. If they really want to have a memorable win, got to make some great run. Right stadium, so big month coming up for the Bulldogs. And Geelong on the end of it. And they haven't played Geelong this year. Round 20, that uh, is a very important prelude. It's an advantage call from the umpire, and Boyd is able to run in, drive it through, and really put the game out of Port Adelaide's reach. To 143, Kel, we've just been in form. What's the record? The record is 155, and you can see as they're making their way from the ground, the players at the moment, Tim, they're really pushing their tired bodies to the limit, so expect a few more interchanges in the next few minutes. Yes, they've lost a bit of their momentum, though. Maybe the players are becoming too tired to even make it to the bench. Here's Murphy for the Dogs. That's a good kick. Beautifully placed. Had a couple of setbacks, so he still needs to get his endurance to that level where he can go up. Things aren't going his way, take his, uh, his turn in the midfield. That's the, the player that they want him to beat. Goalless for the night, Sean Higgins. Six kicks, eight hand passes. From 45, that looks good. That's a beautiful kick. Bulldogs go further ahead. So we'll go to the video, and he should single that out when he does his review and gets back to Adelaide on Monday. Brogan standing tall, not paid the mark. Frustrated at that, it's all over. And it's a win to the Bulldogs by 36 points. Four from five. Tonight, they're in the top four. Fremantle will have something to say about that tomorrow.